Okay, so it is nighttime, and this is Pucky, who is gonna go potty. And you better stay right here, girl, boy. What is your, what are you? Boy, because I cannot chase you right now. <laughs> Did you need to pee? Come, over here. Come here. Come here. Gosh, she listens so well. There's no way to control. I mean, if she's, if he is on a lead, he does come when he's called, of course. I just like him to come when he's called. He's not on a lead. Oh, well, that would explain why he didn't come. Mommy, I had to go potty. Oh, shoot, I always do that. I have it sideways. Okay, I don't need to record him going potty. My beautiful... Okay, let me see if I can do this. Okay, so... This is a marbled red right here, and this leaf coloration, variety of color, is so striking, especially if you consider that this is the same plant. It's also marbled red. And she, right here, is a blackjack, and I feel like I've hurt their feelings because I did take off their flower stems that they had. That's what you're supposed to do so they're not so leggy. If you look, oh god, oh. if you look, you see that the marbled red is really, she's too tall. I mean, it's striking that she's that tall, but that whole big stem has no foliage. Same with my blackjack. Actually, my blackjack's a heck of a lot fuller. And then this bright one right here, she's a Pat Martin, and she has just shot up so high. She was just very small. She actually. I don't know if the light is good enough to see it right here. This more muted version right here of the Pat Martin. It looks like a muted Pat Martin. That's a Beckensworth gem. And right here is a chaotic rose. And then the one that I think is absolutely gorgeous is this one. And she is called Henna. And as her foliage gets older, it gets this kind of almost subtle stain on it. The new leaves are just bright green, and then as they age, they get the subtle stain. Pocky! Come here! Every other dog in the neighborhood is gonna come by mine. All right, bye-bye, I'm going in. All right, bye-bye, mama's going inside. Good boy, good boy. Did mama trick you? Did mama trick you? Oh, you think mama's got a cookie? Come here. Oh, oh, oh. Dog, I can't chase you. Um, oh, I forgot one color. Ooh, spin, don't get na... No, nausea, nauseated. Don't get nauseated. And this is my Tabasco coleus. And I actually got her at the Yuba City Farmer's Market. And what I love is this Tabasco coleus has actually, wow, look at that. This is um, my Japanese maple. My Japanese maple has just thrived since I put her in complete shade on the patio. But my Tabasco coleus, sorry, I get distracted. Um, I got her at the Yuba City Farmer's Market wonderful young man named Gage actually has his own nursery. So I'm almost too goodness. He looks like he's 14. But obviously he must be older than that. And look, my geranium cuttings are sprouting flowers. Isn't that precious? Look at that. Already that root tone stuff looks wonderful. That is a jade called E.T. I guess like the fingers phone home. I can get a picture of her get myself out of her light and see her a little bit. My son doesn't think she looks like E.T. Fingers. I'll let you guess what he thinks she looks like. <laughs> and this is my a jade cutting and I have a very rambunctious jade and I keep cutting back because I don't want her to get um, to be in my walkway and what's spectacular about my this particular jade is that um, even though they're full sun, she's partially shaded by the portico, portico is that what it's called? Porch, 
Orkan is Hasrath. Um, and she will drape and then stand erect. It's really hysterically funny. But if you look, you can see that she has a stem that she's standing very upright like a tree right now. But um, if she gets too much sun, she will actually lay on the patio step. She'll lay completely down. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen because then she goes right back up when she gets a little more shade or the weather gets a tiny bit colder, the sky gets more overcast, and she'll do it within a day. It's just, I, I, I need a stop action camera to catch it. So those are some of my beautiful plants. Here's my star jasmine that we cut back radically. She actually tore the gutter off of my house and tore cables down. But she smells so wonderful we were afraid to cut her back with. We just, we just finally had to, and goodness gracious. We thought we had cut everything living off of her, but luckily my mommy came by, and my mommy, my other mommy, my mommy-in-law, my mommy-in-law said, don't worry, she'll come back. And my mother pointed out to me that we had cut her back to the interior. And of course the interior's all brown, I don't know what other way you could have done it. I'm sure my mom could have figured a way to do it without leaving her looking like she'd been assaulted, but I'm not that talented. 